Now let's go back to the beginning because we started this all with a thousand songs in your pocket, right? We started it with the original iPod and then we carried a thousand songs in your pocket over to the iPod mini. Well now we're going to replace the iPod mini with a new player, an entirely new ground up design, the iPod Nano. You ever wonder what this pocket's for? I've always wondered that. Well, now we know because this is the new iPod Nano. The first generation Apple iPod Nano, released in 2005 by Apple, this A1137 model was a continuation of the long iPod family. Impossibly small, they called it. 3.5 inch tall, 1.6 inch wide, a 1.5 inch color LCD with backlight, navigation by a click wheel, a 330 milliamp battery delivering up to 14 hours of music playback, it was like the invention of sliced bread. The iPod Nano models came with either 1, 2 or 4 GB of flash memory. Apple reported that the 1 GB model could hold up to 240 songs, the 2 GB model 500 songs and the 4 GB model 1000 songs in the 128 KB uh, PS format. The 1GB model could hold up to 15,000 photos and the other 25,000 photos. This first generation iPod Nano had a screen prone to scratching. There were also numerous reports of overheating. Nevertheless, it said Apple sold over 1 million units in just 17 days. The Apple iPod Nano continued to evolve till its seventh generation in 2012. We have some new things too. We have a lap timer, a stopwatch and a lap timer, so you can do some really nice uh, uh, lap times, several of them. And we have a screen lock. If you're gonna have your contacts and calendars on, you might wanna lock your screen when you, uh, <clears throat> and you can do that. And the way you do it is you set it with the click wheel. You turn the click wheel, it turns the dial, you set the lock. Now, some people are gonna forget anything, so they're gonna forget their combination. When you take your iPod Nano back and you dock it with the computer that it's synced to, it automatically opens the lock. 